and it lives. You can see a decent bit of shine, everything on the wall and ceiling around it. And uh, it itself is about a foot wide, so you can see it shines decently far. Um, all you gotta do is just plug it in, turn it on, and you're good to just pick and change things and pick what not you want on here. Let's see, a different mode. And, um, let's see. Can I change color in here? Should be able to. Something's freaking out. Bam. Okay, let's just see. Get a better mode for uh, picking color. So you can pick all the different colors you want. And you get it to a certain point. So you have uh, all of your speed up options and your brightness options. And actually, oddly, being able to hold down a button to keep it doing something like that was an interesting challenge. Um, let's see, you can do uh, different types of modes. This looks blue. Let's brighten this up some. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of different modes, a whole bunch of different options, and sometimes it crashes. Probably running out of RAM. I need to figure out a better way of getting this running. And I think the reason why it's crashing is because I have all these blending options. Because you see how it's fading all the colors with each other? It's not just a constant turn on one, turn off, and change color type of thing, but it's actually blending between what the previous colors were. So that's how you can get, um, like, not this mode, but like this mode is actually just sort of blending all the colors together so you kind of get streaks that are very slowly moving around. 